everybody. Today we are going to talk about making observations. Now making observations is very important in the job of a scientist and we use five things to make those observations. We use our five senses. I have them written here on the board. Can you say them with me? We have sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. So we have our five senses here and we're going to use these five senses to observe things in the world around us. Now some of these are super good for using in the world around us. We can always use them like sight and hearing. Uh, when you're out in the natural world, you can always observe using your eyes. So if you're not sure if it's safe to touch or any of those other things, any of these things right here, taste, smell, you can always look at it, okay? So we can use our sight and our hearing pretty much all the time. When it comes to touch and taste, we have to be really careful, right? Because some things are not safe to touch or not safe to taste. Most things in the wild are not safe to taste. So we're going to imagine what things might taste like. And when it comes to touching things, we're going to ask an adult to make sure that it would be safe to touch that thing first, right? The nice thing about taste is if you can't taste it, which is most things, remember, you can always smell it. It might not smell good, but it's a good way to observe the world around us. So here we have our five senses. Let's go and make some observations, shall we? All right, let's go ahead and make some observations, okay? So we have, we're gonna start here, with our North American porcupine. There he is, look at his cute little face. So if we're using our observations, our different senses to observe, we can see the porcupine, we can, right now, imagine what he would sound like when he's walking around. Maybe his quills would clack together a little bit. Maybe he makes some kind of really cute noise. We can imagine what he might feel like. Maybe pretty spiky, that's what I would think. And we can imagine what he might smell like. Now this piece right here, since it's taxidermied, it doesn't smell like much. It just kind of smells like fur, honestly. It smells kind of dusty. But in the wild, you might be able to smell different things that smell like a porcupine, all right? so. There's our first one. Let's take a look at another one. We've got one that you might be more familiar with, a duck. All right, so you can see the duck, but what does a duck sound like? What do you think of when you think of the sound of ducks? What about how a duck feels? What do you think he would feel like if you could touch him? What do ducks smell like? Have you ever been to a pond and smelled the ducky smell? What does it smell like to you? Is it a good smell? Or is it a bad smell? All right guys, I have one more thing I wanted us to observe. Right here, I have with me a live Chilean rose-haired tarantula. So this right here is Belle. So we're gonna use our five senses to observe Belle. Okay, so let's take a look at her. Let's use our eyes to look at Belle. Let's look at the way that she, let's see how she looks. She's got lots of hair on her. You can see she has this big pink spot on her back right there. So we can see the colors that she is, we can see what texture she is, what she might feel like if we touch her with our fingers. But let's also look at how she's moving, how she's moving her legs. She moves them individually, right? If we could see her eating lunch, we could see that she can move really quickly to grab onto it with her fangs, and then she slurps it down so she can move really fast if she needs to. Uh, we can, she doesn't smell like much, I can tell you that right now, um, and you wouldn't want to taste her, uh, but we can use all our other senses for these kinds of things. We can see what she looks like, we can even listen really close, see if she's making any sounds. I don't hear anything, she's very, very quiet. So that's how we can use our observations, even on things that are living, we want to observe how they move and what they're doing. Everybody, we're to the activity portion today. Our activity today is a good one. It is just to go for a walk. So let's go. One of the best ways that we can observe is just getting outside. And so what we got to do is we got to use those five senses just like Marin taught us so we can look at these trees say, okay, what colors are these? How does this leaf feel? What does it smell like? Kind of smells just like grass. And we can come and the most important part about making observation is, is asking questions. So let's look at this tree for example. These leaves look really different. Why is this leaf so red and why is this one so green? 
These are some observations that we can make and we can compare and contrast and think about these and ask more questions. Okay, everybody, look at these two. We can compare. Look at how similar they are. Some of them are similar colors, kind of have some similar structures here, even though they're feeling a little different. This one feels really pokey. This one's a little bit softer. These leaves are really smooth. So these are the kind of observations that we want you guys to make on your walk this weekend. Please join us next week. We're going to be dropping another video for you guys with a fun lesson and activity. And we'd love to hear about where you went. So comment down below how your walk went and something awesome that you observed. We'll talk to you soon.